Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to an Apple TV unboxing. Um, now this is a product that up to this point has never really entered my realm of interest. Um, I've always looked at it and gone, yeah, that's a pretty cool product. Because at the end of the day, um, stripping it down, it is basically a mini Mac mini. Um, it had a one gigahertz Pentium, Pentium M processor, 256 megs of RAM, and the original OS that it ran was basically a modified version of OS X Tiger. So it is very much a little PC. And um, as, as we'll delve into now in a minute, um, you can run full blown, um, a full blown Debian install on this if you wanted to. You can flash open the LEC, which is what I will be doing, um, to get Kodi installed to use it as an alternative OS to the normal Apple TV um, OS, which is pretty restricting, all things considered. And um, yeah, I hope they're not watching this video, but this is a Christmas present for my parents. That is the reason why I've bought it. It's basically going to be used um, for basically playing music and video through network shares. I'm going to set up. Um, basically uh, share folders on, on the MacBook Pro so they can play their music and video through um, directly across the network without copying stuff on USB sticks and just saving a lot of hassle basically. I, ho I hope they like it. Um, it's a cool little product and um, yeah, so let's unbox it. So as you can see, I am very, very lucky to get this Apple TV um, in its original box. Um, a lot of th th these machines are a good, oh, by the way guys, this is the um, 160 gig model. Um, this has 2009 written all over it, so it's about seven years old. But the first ones were introduced in 2006, so hardware-wise, this is 10-year-old hardware. And um, I'm just checking, you've got a half decent frame there. But as you can see, it's in its, in its original box, and it comes with all of the original bits of plastic on and stuff like that, which is um, really really cool. Here we've got the remote. Um, I'll probably pick up one of the newer ones because honestly, I, I just think these these white ones, these old white ones, just feel really cheap and nasty. Um, I'm not sure if you've got a very good angle there, guys. Give me a second. So yeah, as I was saying, I'll probably pick up one of the silver ones. Um, these things don't do anything for me. They feel cheap and nasty. And as you can see, um, although the seller claimed that this was new and never before used, as you can see by the colouring. Um, and all of the grime that's stuck between the buttons. This is definitely, definitely, definitely not a new remote. So I'll probably get on the bell about about him about that because I don't think that's that's a bit naughty. That is, um, that's quite clearly a used item. But um, we're not here to bloody complain about the remote. We're here to see this guy, the Apple TV. There we go. Oh, that is in there tight, very very tight. Wow, that's got a bit of heft to it. And, um, oh, yeah, one thing I haven't told you so far, guys, I'll put it to the side for a minute, is um, that basically these Apple TVs, they have little um, mini PCI Express uh, slots in them. And by default, this guy comes in them. Um, I'm really not sure whether you're in focus. Yeah, okay. There we go. Um, th by default, this is the Wi-Fi card. Um, that basically obviously allows you to connect to your, your wireless networks, obviously. Um, but what you can do, the really, really cool thing about these Apple TVs, even though it's only got a one gigahertz Pentium M processor and the NVIDIA GeForce Go 7300 graphics cards, you can whip this guy out, put in a crystal HD video decoder, and bang, your Apple TV can now play 1080p video absolutely perfectly. Um, and that is really, really what has opened this little machine up. And to this day, millions, well, not millions, but thousands and, and thousands of people use one of these first generation Apple TVs as a Kodi home theater PC because with those HD video decoders, um, they are still very, very capable little systems. Um, this is the two pin um, power adapter. The power supply is internal in this machine, which is just absolutely wonderful. It's just a really, really nice little machine. Um, it's really just a perfect, perfect size. Give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm going to zoom out a bit. As I was saying, it was just a really, really nice size. The fact that the power supply is included, um, everything is just in this box is just super. It's just a really lovely, lovely, compact little machine. And um, yeah, it's so cool. It's come with all the original plastic and stuff. And there it is. 
the Apple TV covered in fingerprints. Um, it's in good nick though. It's in really, really good nick. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Yeah, not too bad. Um, so there we go on the front, you've got the uh, power LED, infrared sensor, of course, for the remote. Um, on the bottom, basically just a big rubber base, um, one big foot, essentially. And, oh, 2007. So obviously all the packaging was 2009, but this little unit was 2007. So um, yeah, this is, this is getting on 10 years old, guys. And the fact that I've bought this knowing full well that I'm going to run 1080p video on it is just crazy. Um, there aren't many, ah, having said that, if you, if you have a, a, a 10 year old machine with a decent GPU, something that can decode H.264 video, then yeah, it's still feasible, but still, that is very impressive. For the price I paid for this, I paid £40 for this, guys. Um, to have a little home theatre PC that will be able to play 1080p video and stream stuff from all over the internet is um, really incredible. And yeah, this is the cool stuff. So on the back, uh, let's get a little bit closer. You can see we've got the little two pin for the power, USB. And without that little USB, um, this Apple TV would have been nowhere near as popular amongst, amongst modders and uh, Kodi enthusiasts. Um, Ethernet for connecting to wired networks. I'm going to be using that USB, by the way, um, as a USB dongle or for USB dongle. Um, open, EL, open ELEC, which is what I'm going to install to get Kodi up and running, um, supports a bunch of USB dongles natively. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm going to be getting um, wireless networks because obviously I, I've, in order to get the 1080p video decoding, I've had to sacrifice the internal um, Wi-Fi cards. Uh, there you've got HDMI, um, composite, is it, is it composite or component? I can't remember. I've got to be honest, guys, this is before my time. Yeah, composite is the little the little jack, um, that's component. And then you've got optical and analog um, audio. So that's a really decent little array of ports on the back. I'm just shocked at how much machine I've got here for £40, guys. I've got to be honest. It's a really beautiful little system. That will look absolutely awesome in anybody's TV cabinet. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the unboxing. Um, I'm not sure if there's much more I can say, aside from the fact, oh yeah, um, there is a fan in this system, but the, basically it never ever changes the speed. Um, it's, it's fixed at a, a, a constant speed and the entire chassis is used to disperse heat. Um, there's lots of people, if you look online, Apple TV, Apple first gen Apple TVs, um, hot or temperature or whatever, um, and people get really concerned at how hot these get, but it's actually part of the design. Um, instead of having a heat sink per se, a, a traditional heat sink, these things actually disperse heat through the chassis itself, which I personally think is quite a cool little feature. Um, it can be worrying to someone that just touches it accidentally and, and goes, holy shit, that's just burnt my hand. But um, yeah, aside from that, that is a really, really cool little system, guys. Um, I'm chuffed for that. So yeah, I'm going to see if it works. If it does work, then I can get Kodi installed and, and do all that awesome stuff. And um, yeah, make sure to check out part two of this little Apple TV saga. Thanks, guys.